Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna show you how to make like one of those self selling platforms on the ground. So let's start. If you haven't made your leader stats yet, then you can follow along with this. If you have, then you don't have to follow along with this. Game not player dot player added connect function player. Oh, well, I should have said first insert a script into server script service for the leader stats. Game not players the player added connect function basically getting when the player has joined the game and then doing this local stats equals instance dot new in or no folder player sorry I use I'm used to putting in values this is making a new folder in the player so when you go inside of the player stuff there will be a folder now we're gonna name that folder leader stats so stats dot name equals leader stats now. We're gonna go down. You can do it right here, like that. But I like going down to mine. So now we're gonna do local coins equals instance dot new in value stats this time. Basically, this is parenting it. It's the same thing as doing stats dot parents equals player, but instead you're just making it a little more cleaner here, so you don't have so many things. You can do it either way. It's fine. Now we're gonna name so this is making a value inside of the leader stats folder. Now we're gonna name it coins on name local capital coins then coins coins dot value equals zero. Basically what this is is just setting the default value. So you can make this anything. So let's say I put it at fifteen. Once I join the game I'll have fifteen coins automatically. You might not want that, so then you just put it zero every time a player joins the game. As you can see, I got coins to 15 at default. All right, now we're gonna make our cell system. So first, we're gonna make our cell place. If you wanna make it just like the simulators, you can put down a, uh, a cylinder, rotate it like this, scale it down, make it a bit bigger like this, so it's nice and round. You can make it flatter. Then you can put it on the ground, or just do it like that. You can make it whatever color. I don't know what color they make it, so I'm just gonna make it green, lighter green. Then what you can do is you can duplicate this using Control D. You can shrink it a bit, and you can scale it high on both sides. You can negate this part in the Model tab. You press the Negate button. Then you select both the both of the parts, and you press Union. Then you have basically this nice border. Then you, or first you should actually copy this part. Or here, so copy this part before you negate it. Then negate the part that you duplicated. Get the um the negative part, this part, and the um and this bottom part, and then union. Then, with this part, you want to scale it down to wherever you want it to be. Let's scale this up to. Then you want to scale it up a tiny bit. Then, what you can do, you can make its material neon. And you can change its transparency by going into the properties tab. Setting it to 0 0.8. And then, perfect. So you have yourself a nice looking little cell circle. Then, you, you might want to group it. I'm gonna group it just for the purpose. Um, group. You can name it whatever you want. Okay. Name the extra part in the center to cell part. Doesn't have to be capitalized, but if it is, and you'll have to change it later. Or well, you're not gonna change the name, but you're gonna have to change something in the script. So now you have your nice little cell zone. If you wanna add a text like above it saying cell what you can do inside of the cell place you can add a part oops added a mesh part so you can press the plus type in part then with this part you want to scale it up near the center you want to make it can you want to go to the properties and search can collide and disable it or look for the can collide and you want to make its transparency to one then press the part or press the plus inside of the part and insert a billboard GUI. Then inside of the billboard GUI, I want to press the plus again. And what you want to do is you want to add a text label. As you can see, now we have a nice text label. Now to make it not scale 
out like this so it like fills your entire screen kind of you want to go into the billboard GUI then you want to change the offset to zero and then just rescale it offset to zero once again and then rescale it and I think I'm gonna do four yeah it might look like this now but if it looks like this then you want to go into the text label and you want to do the same thing you want to change the offset to zero and then you just want to rescale it however it's meant to be if you want and then you want to go to the other one you want to change the offset to z zero and then you want to just scale it as you can see and then if you want the text to stop doing that then what you can do is go into text scaled and boom it'll stay right there and it won't scale out or anything then I'm just you can just make it say cell you can make source sounds bold or something then you can go into the text or background transparency and make it a one and boom you have a nice little cell text what I like to do is I like to make it a green color and then add a go to text stroke transparency and make that zero so it has a nice border and there you go you have a nice looking little cell area now we're going to script this to actually work so we're going to go into starter GUI and we're going to add a local script now we're going to make an abbreviation or a shortcut for the cell part so we're going to do local cell part will equal workspace dot cell dot cell part basically we're going into the workspace which is what the cell group is under for me it's a group if it's not a group then you won't have to get the group so you're going to workspace you're going to find wherever your cell part is in so mine's inside of cell and then it's called cell part now we're going to make a function for when it's touched so a local function touched it can be anything really it can be like hit or I don't know sold and then you want to press enter it'll put those at the end then we're going to get a local player so we're going to do local player equals game not player to local player so every time we can just input player instead of doing this entire line so basically saying player is the same thing as doing game not player to local player just shortened and it just saves us some time and it might make it more or organized now we're going to do player dot leader stats or whatever your folder name is if we go back into the server script server script let me scroll back up this is the name of the folder and then we're going to locate the coins so we're going to do dot coins and then we're going to get its value which is dot value and then we're going to do equals and then we're going to you can paste that back in or you can type it out like player dot leader says dot coins are value so basically now we're going to make something to be sold so let's say we're going to make local sticks will equal instance dot new int value oh yeah go back into the um leader stats script set of service script service and do this then parent it to player i mean stats then you want to go down the line and you want to do sticks dot name and name it where you want this doesn't have to be sticks it can be anything we're just naming it sticks for the sake of the tutorial then sticks dot value will equal zero in my case so now we're going to do plus player dot leader stats dot sticks dot value so basically once this part is touched it, it'll add I actually have to demonstrate it so then after you do this line you're just gonna you wanna do player dot leader stats dot sticks dot value or whatever your value is equals player dot leader stats dot sticks dot value basically repeating it to both and then minus player dot leader stats dot coins dot value or dot sticks dot value alright now we're gonna make it so once we're gonna apply this function to when the parts touched so we're gonna do cell part dot touched connect and then the name of your function mine is sold as you can see here I named it sold right there and then put sold after connect Alright, so now we are able to sell if everything has been done correctly. I will make mistakes once in a while, but I won't be afraid to show that I made a mistake in a video, as everyone makes mistakes. Now, if we ha if we get some sticks, I'm not sure if I have to manually add this or I can do this. And if we go into the sell zone, as you can see, oh, well, we didn't anchor. Oh yeah, for it to not move like it just did for me. You want to select it all. So you want to select everything in the group, and you want to anchor it. Now, if we hit play, everything should be working 
hopefully how we want it to work. Alright, so load it up. Now let's say I change see here when the player has the leader stats folder and then the values. Let's say I change my six to five hundred. When I go into the cell it'll add the five hundred to my coin, then get rid of the five hundred as you can see. I do like this 131 million and I go into the cell I'll sell it for 131 million coins and if you want to make it so every one stick is two coins you can go back into the local script inside of starter GUI or whatever you name the script and you can put times two and once you put times two what you can do is you can go back into the game and then you can test it so basically it'll give you two times however much was um like two times your sticks value to your cash value. Also, sorry about any background noise. So look, if I put sticks value to five when I sell, I will gain ten, as you can see. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.